Praise the Lord. Uh, at this junction, I will quickly run down the biography of my lovely mother. This is a woman of my heart that I love so much, very dearest to me. Um, there is no word I can use to quantify our blessings, our love. Um, which is uh, Mrs. Bridget Ashnedu Mwachko, my lovely mother. Popularly called Ne Obi Achuka. My mom was born on July 1960 in a village in Osho State, then Oyo State, called uh, Odo Village at uh, Elisha, Osho State. Actually, she hailed from Amai, Omobo, in Opani local government area of Delta State in Nigeria here. As a matter of fact, she's the third born of 14 children from her late father and mother, Achuka Obi. This is Bridget attend attended United Primary School at Iwara. Then Elisha Osho State. As a matter of fact, she was not being a full time opportune to further her education due to some financial constraints. She made native hand weaving clothes called, called uh, Asho Ufi in Yoruba language. I believe everybody knows Asho Ufi. The very big uh, attires of Yoruba language. Um, she got married to Mr. Michael Osondo Mwachko in 1977, who actually passed away on the 1st of August 2006, um, which she left her uh, and six uh, children. She lived alone in her late husband's hometown, this village, in Manama, for 17 good years because of her genuine, genuine love and affection she had for him and her husband's family. Mama was very industrious, very hardworking, very humble and respectful. She loved her family, her siblings, and people around her. She was an epitome of peace. She was called by nickname Oibo because she was very fair in complexion and very, very beautiful. She was very kind with a good heart. A woman of wisdom and courage. Mm. Ashley Do Bridget Wachko sadly passed away at the Dutchess International Hospital. Lagos State after a brief illness of on the 16th of July 2023 at the age of 63 years she was survived by children by the grace of God grandchildren brothers sisters uncle aunties 
to precisely 23 grandchildren. Hallelujah. May our gentle soul rest in perfect peace in the bosom of the Almighty until God, until the last day of the resurrection, when we shall all meet again. Amen. Watch a group. We are taking scripture reading now and I'm reading from John 11 from verse 23 to 25. Again, in the resurrection at the last day, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. And his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed him. And power was given unto death over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. Walk. Whether you like it or not, whether you refrain from talking about death, Julius Caesar said, death will come when it will come. It is not avoidable. In Wakem with Chukwa Daya, death is something that does not accept bribe. When it comes, it comes. From where we read, the Bible said, death was given power. The death people are suffering from now, either death by accident, death through fire, death through hunger, death through starvation, death through being drowned. Any form of death is because he has been given power to do what he's doing. He's a ruthless figure. This death we are talking of, you know they hear back. I am too handsome, it is not his concern. I am too beautiful, that is not the concern of death. I am rich, but the way death is working, it is as if it's everywhere. If people die in Emwe Boma, some people may have died in Emu No. Some may have died at Kwale, some have died at Orogu. That is how death, but death is not everywhere. When the news of Mama's death came, I was troubled. I told the person who informed me, I said, if not joke, I beg stop her. I took my bike to ask somebody if it is true, and I was told it is true. Even though Mama did not spend up to 100, if you ask me in my judgment, I will say Mama has lived well. You know the reason? The children, they are alive there. Mama did not come to be burying her children. That is the prayer I ask you to pray. If you are a father, if you are a mother, and before your children comes up, it is all our expectation that when we have done with what we have come to this world to do, by God's grace, at old age, may our children bury us. But death will certainly come. Today, death has been given power, yet shall he live. You have power over death. By doing one thing, accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. When we talk of his power over you, because the last of all, where we read, Bible say, hey, followed him. I pray that the Lord Almighty 
will grant you an insight. Your word is ever new. I presented your word, O oh Lord God. I pray that the grace to accept this world and turn over a new leaf, you will grant unto every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that when we die in grace, death has no power over us. Lord, we are counting on your support. We are counting on your grace. We are counting on your mercy that you will do it for us. Now that we are alive, let it not be too late. Father, do it for everyone and let your name be glorified. As we progress, oh Lord God, release your spirit. It's not the barrier. I stand as your oracle. I make a decree. Every negative energy or negative force that want to use the face of Mama to terrorize this one. In the name that is above every name, I command that the fire of the Holy Ghost consume them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our Maker, every man or woman beating heart, beating the hand on the chest, that their mother has gone away, is going to take an advantage of against them. In the name of Jesus, let the ground open and swallow in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not bury their mama and also go down. As you bury your mama, they will go up in the name of Jesus. In every aspect of life, all this money that I've been using, Almighty God, you replenish their pocket in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace will be with them. Lord, when they need mother counseling, you will counsel them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not scatter because their mother has gone. Father, you will put them together in unity in the name of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. Every weapon of the enemy fashion against them shall not prosper. And the man that will take advantage against them, Lord, let every man be condemned completely to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. You're going in the covenant, your business, your children, your loved ones are covered with the blood of Jesus. You will live better than your mother. The name of prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, God bless you. Hallelujah. The next item on our program before we finally round off this session is uh, Thanksgiving.
You can mess with it. This one is the one to prefer the best. You put it next time, just make it sweet. Head to head, put it. If it's not that it's not there, dust to dust, arches to arches, different arches. Anyone that is not here, they don't do it on behalf of somebody. It doesn't, there's no problem, not with any problem. Head to head. Appointed once for one to die. They joy not because of anything, but because she did not use her own head to bury her children. We pray, O oh Lord God, that these funeral rites that have been carried out today, Lord, in turn, you will cause their children to move forward. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. In whatsoever trade they are involved in, Lord God of heaven, I pray that opportunity that they have never received in life, by from this time henceforth, let it open door for them. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As they are bearing their mom, oh Lord God, so also they will grow old, and when they are done, their own children will bury them as well. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let no one be a misfortune, O oh God. But Father, in your scheme of things, let off, O oh God, remind that Mama had that she was friendly and generous to all. Let us say my day in death. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Help us to do that wish that will bring honor and glory in as much as we are still alive today, so that when our time comes, Lord God, we may not have believed you in vain. Thank you, precious name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm a man of the